One of my tasks at the rectory is I go grocery shopping. I think both of those guys would starve to death unless I would go get some food for them. Usually go running down up the street to the Kroger's and one of the last times I was up there, I saw this line of people at the service desk and they were all getting tickets for the lottery. Anybody ever get lottery tickets? There's a story about a woman who won $2 million lottery and her husband had heart problems and so she was afraid that if she shared with him this news, it would give him a heart attack. And so she asked the pastor to come to dinner and kind of gently break the news to him. So after the dinner, the pastor asked him as they were sitting having coffee, tell me, what would you do if you won $2 million? And the guy said, why, I'd give half to the church, at which point the pastor had a heart attack. So, <laughs> old one. Winning a lottery is certainly a major shock, surprise, huh? A shock that most of us would like to experience. But there are smaller surprises and shocks that await us really each and every day. At my doctor went to the doctor's office today and came back. Surprise, surprise, I'd gained weight. Though I've been on the treadmill and I thought I was losing some weight, huh? Today we gather to celebrate a surprise, yes, really a shock. Far greater than winning money in a lottery, greater than any earthly wealth we can even imagine, huh? Imagine the surprise of a young Jewish maiden, a sudden visitation by an angel who announced an unbelievable event to occur, the birth of a son, her son, the Messiah, the birth of the salvation of the world, a Messiah who would not establish power and dominion in Israel, but rather, no, would put an end to death and give everyone eternal life those who have faith. Now imagine that shock of that maiden grown weary under her years. Following her son, witnessing his untimely death, his crucifixion, terrible. But also joyfully experiencing his resurrection. Surely Jesus would make his resurrection known to his mother. And now imagine the surprise of that maiden in the kingdom of God, being restored to her son, Bringing at, being at rest, rather, in that kingdom promised from time long since past, time of the ancients, huh? Gang, today, once again, we celebrate that surprise, that shock, the feast of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary, assumed body and soul into heaven, huh? One of the two or three, depending on how you define them, doctrines that have been infallibly declared to be believed by the faithful. Now remember, every feast day, as I want to say, every feast day we celebrate in our faith is really our feast day. So what does our feast day that we celebrate today say to us? The Assumption is a great surprise, a great shock, but also a great gift, not only to Mary, the mother of Christ Jesus, but also to all the faithful. For that surprise is promised to all of us as foretold from a vote in Revelations. Mary is the sign of the inbreaking of the kingdom of God into human history, the mother of our Savior, who gave way to her son, who followed her son, who, because of the faithfulness she had in her trials, received the prize of victory, eternal life, assumed body and soul, our faith tells us, into the kingdom. So to the faithful, that's you and me, all of us, we are to follow Jesus like Mary, we are to be faithful to the gospel like Mary. We are to be signs of that kingdom yet to be completed like Mary. The assumption is a great honor, a true gift, yes, a great surprise for her fiat to become the mother of God portrayed in Luke, for her faith in the God she cannot understand, for her trust in a God who will redeem all of us huh? in and through his son, her son, Jesus Christ. The assumption is a great tribute, a great reverence for her, yes, for her faith in God's plan of salvation in his son Jesus, who, as Paul says, is the firstborn of God, who is the resurrection, he says, who is Lord over all. The assumption indeed is a great surprise, a great reward. And the message of the day is this great surprise of redemption, of salvation, this great gift of eternal life, again, is not limited to Mary, but is freely promised to all. 
to all who participate in the plan of God's salvation, to all who are predestined, the scriptures tell us, from of old, to be part of the kingdom promised. The message today, this great surprise, this wonderful gift, is promised to you, to me, to all of us who gather here, huh? who give birth to the word of God in our hearts, as did Mary, who all who follow the spirit of God and allow that spirit to take root in our hearts, as did Mary. The message today, this great surprise is bestowed upon all who have faith in Jesus Christ, who accept his gospel, as did Mary, who live that good news, who become the newborn of God, as did Mary. On this Feast of the Assumption then of the Blessed Virgin Mary, do not look upon such a great gift, so great a reward, so great a treasure one is beyond us, huh? No, available only to Mary, no. Rather see this feast again as our feast, the feast of the gospel challenge for all here present to journey with Jesus Christ, to begin to cooperate with that plan of salvation, to begin to make present the kingdom of God right here, right now, in our present reality of life, to begin to live our faith day in, day out. There's another story about, for you about the minister in a, one of the major metropolitan areas who constantly preached to his people about the sinfulness of gambling, especially the lottery, until his wife informed him she had purchased a lottery ticket on a whim and she won over a million dollars. His message changed to thanking God for this great gift to his ministry. Winning a lottery on any amount is certainly a major surprise, even a shock. And again, a shock that most of us would not mind having. The Word of God seeks to break the news to us, the news of a great surprise, a great gift, if you would, not to scare us to death, no, but to shock us into a new way of living, a gift worth much more than any amount of money for ministry or otherwise. Today, gang, the feast day is our feast day. It's but a preview of what awaits all who accepts the challenge of faith. Today's feast is a renewal of a promise that what happened to Mary will happen to us all, all who are struggling to be faithful to the gospel of Jesus Christ. So today, begin to live your faith in Jesus and prepare to be surprised, prepare to win the greatest prize of all, eternal life, entry into the promised kingdom of God. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit.